to err is human, or is it? I'm John Stone Street, and this is The Point. Gnosticism, the earliest heresy to challenge Christianity, taught that anything physical was evil and corrupt. So for the Gnostic, Jesus couldn't have become human because having a physical body would make him evil. He looked human, but he wasn't really. But the story of Christmas is that the Word, as John 1 states, became flesh. The fullness of God dwelt in bodily form. Jesus was fully human with a belly button, underarms, and a spleen, just like you and me. And it's a good thing, too. God called Adam good when he was created. So Adam's problem wasn't that he was human, but that he sinned. The Apostle Paul calls Jesus the second Adam, who never sinned but who restores our humanity to us. Every aspect of our lives, even our bodies, matter to God. And as my friend Matt Anderson says in his new book, Earthen Vessels, if it matters to God, it matters to our faith, too. Come to thepointradio.org to learn more about Matt's book. That's thepointradio.org. I'm John Stone Street. <music>